that first they are getting Julian, then they will get you, me, everyone. This is uh, a, a clear struggle for uh, freedom of the press and for the right of citizens to know that which governments are doing behind their backs, supposedly on their behalf. The lying is at the heart of it. So if you go and get people really inside the national security state and reveal the war crimes, the lying, the bullshit of the arms industry, that's like putting a dagger into a place you're not allowed to go. So I think this case is absolutely devastating horrifying and wide-reaching implications for press freedom and journalism as a whole. And unfortunately, um, people have already made up their mind about Julian Assange. They're not taking a stand the way they should be. It turned out he was under surveillance. It turned out there were people eavesdropping on everything he was doing. It turned out there were people even checking the, uh, the nappies of his baby to check who it was and all the rest of it. For goodness sake, this is inhuman treatment of somebody that tried to bring some humanity to our planet. He is being punished, as is Julian Assange and Edward Snowden, for releasing the truth. He's on death row. He will be on death row if he is extradited. A felon who confessed, who's one of the US's principal witnesses in this grotesque case. Not long ago, he confessed that everything he said was a fabrication. Not a word about him. If this man gets extradited to the United States, he will be tortured until the day he dies. The CIA was trying to murder Julian Assange or to capture Julian Assange. It may now be Julian and it may now be Glenn Greenwald, but who will be next? Julian is a publisher. Julian is also a son, he's a friend, he's my fiance, and a father. Julian needs his freedom, and our democracy needs a free press. Yes, it is about Julian Assange, but it is much more also about all of you, and your children, and your families, and 20 years from now, will you still be able to know the truth about what your government is doing? Or when it has become a crime to inform you about what your government is doing with your tax money to other people that have not done anything wrong in their lives. was rearrested under the new superseding indictment. Today is the first day of the appeal hearing in the extradition proceedings. Hi everyone, I'm Taylor Hudak and I'm outside London's Belmarsh Prison. We are all Julian Assange. How would you know about all the crimes committed in our names if there were the billions of leaks published by WikiLeaks? If wars can be started by lies, peace can be started by truth. We're going to lock people away um, facing 200 years in prison for exposing war crimes. What kind of country, what kind of world are we going to live in? So we have to stand up and collectively say no more. If you're an activist of any kind, right, left, center, an animal rights activist, an environmental activist, a socialist activist, any kind of an activist against global institutions. And you're not capable of setting aside whatever emotional feelings you have for Julian Assange to defend basic press freedoms and stand opposed to the efforts of the Trump government and Boris Johnson's Tory government to criminalize the activities of Julian Assange and WikiLeaks and publishing information in the public interest. You are going to create a world for yourself in which the presidents you're now acquiescing to or cheering out of some misplaced hatred for Julian Assange are going to be used against you. When you're in a dark room, one person switching on the lights will make everyone see. Right? Don't look for the light somewhere else. Go and switch it on yourself. We should all thank 
Julian for his courage and integrity in providing us with this precious gift at great cost to himself, much to our shame. But think about the opportunities that you have, right? Because there are no heroes. Nobody's going to save you, right? There are only heroic actions. There are only heroic choices. There are only people who moment by moment see bad things and recognize, maybe I can do something. Maybe I can't fix everything, but maybe I can make progress. Maybe I can make things better. Maybe I am the one that I'm waiting for. And as soon as you start thinking like that, you'll realize that you are. Free Assange, rock and roll.